My name is Rosalind Fuller, and I'm a political theorist. I've written two books on how we can solve a lot of the problems with politics today by using direct digital democracy. I've run in two campaigns in Ireland using an online decision-making platform, and I now run the Salonian Democracy Institute. So a question people ask me a lot is, what does Salonian mean? And that's a really good question, and it has a lot to do with how we approach our mission. We research, educate, and advocate on how we can use digital means to bring about a direct people-powered democracy. And we don't just do that because digital things are trendy or something like that. Our embrace of technology is very considered and stems from a broad base of knowledge in areas like law, economics, and history. That long-term vision is also reflected in the name of our organization. Solon was an Athenian statesman who lived more than 2,500 years ago. And while he likely didn't have the intention of creating a direct democracy in Athens, he instituted a series of reforms that eventually achieved just that. However, Solon himself did not live in a democracy, and neither do we. The issue, therefore, in our view, isn't to improve democracy, but rather to create one in the first place. And this is all the more difficult since following the Second World War, a lot of the gains that were made in self-determination have been rapidly rolled back. And in particular, mass membership bottom-up organizations have virtually disappeared. So, for example, charities, universities, newspapers, unions, and above all, of course, political parties have become organized in a much more top-down fashion and with many fewer members involved in decision-making. So the upshot of that is that there are no longer ways for people to participate en masse and effectively use the power of their numbers to make political change. However, that's just fine with oligarchs. And that's why we hear so often today that democracy is not just about numbers or not just majority rule. Democracy is exactly about numbers and democracy is exactly about majority rule. What democracy certainly is not is minority rule, however self-righteous that minority thinks it is. Every one of those numbers is a human being. And the only capital they have is themselves. So that's why they themselves need to be the means of participation. This is how Gandhi got the British to leave India. Not by asking nicely for them to leave, but by channeling the vast number of Indian people's energy into a movement that made it impossible for the British to rule them. And this is what we seek to do today, to use digital tools to enable mass participation in ways that are commensurate with the technological state of society itself. Nothing less than this will even be able to challenge oligarchic power. And we don't want to challenge it, we want to defeat it. Mass participation is the only thing that is stronger than they are. And that's how I became an expert in many of the digital tools that can be used to achieve this. These tools are extremely sophisticated. This is not just click button voting, as some of our detractors like to assume. And I'll be talking about a few of them during our panel and answering any questions you may have.